Hi, Carrie and Mosaic and Trimmer, whose name I don't know. My name is Nancy Ash, and I'm going to try to help you look at this horse's feet in a new way so that she can get more comfort in her feet. The first thing I notice about this horse from this one picture, and of course it's only a picture, and it could have been that she was startled and had tensed up, but if this is a picture of a relaxed horse, the muscles in her body are being tensed. And I think they may be tensed because her feet hurt and that she's just making do. And that may mean that all four feet hurt. Uh, how do you tell a horse is lame if it's limping on all four feet? And I think she's hurting in all four of her feet. And that's because over time, her feet have become imbalanced. This is the dorsal aspect of the left front hoof. The camera angle here is a little bit to the inside and therefore we don't get as good a view of the lateral side as we do of the medial side. It appears that the lateral side is flared and this is kind of unusual because what generally happens in a hoof is the vector forces from the body of the horse come down pretty straight on the inside but they're slightly slanted on the outside. The force of these vectors tends to make a lateral side more flared than the medial side. But you can see on this foot that isn't true. The foot begins almost perpendicular to the ground and then suddenly flares out. That's unusual. And that tells me that something is going on in the hoof, either the way the hoof is landing or some internal factor that is pushing this side of the wall outwards. And we're going to have to look and see when we turn the hoof over why this is happening. And we also might want to watch the horse walk to see if there's something about its gait that is causing something different than the normal forces on the hoof. Now we can look at the right front dorsal aspect. And this is the lateral side and this is the medial side. And you can see that this side, the lateral side, is more coned, more slanted than the medial side. But at the same time, something odd is happening. And I don't know, I think this spot right here is actually an optical illusion. I think it's a spot of paint on the horse's hair. Not, not paint in the sense that it got painted, but paint in the sense that the horse is a paint. And it's got spots, and I think this is a spot. But what is bothersome is right here, and that is that there seems to be a bulge. And if you look at this picture and, and actually look at the hairline, it sort of appears that this hairline on the lateral side is a little lower than it is on the medial side. So I don't know what's going on there, but I do see that this is pretty slanted. And most medial sides, as I said before, because of the vector factors that come straight down onto the hoof, this side tends to be straighter than that side. And on this hoof, you can see that both sides are equally slanted. Here we are again, and we're this time we get to see both feet together. It's kind of an odd picture. I think the left foot over here is probably turned inward and therefore we don't have a really clear view of what the foot looks like. And I say that because I remember that the medial side of the left front was flared and it looks to be straight up and down here. So I think the horse has turned its hoof inward. But on the right side, you can clearly see that that medial side is flared. And when we turn over that foot, I think what you'll see is that this side will be fuller than this side, and there will be a bar in there pushing the wall outward. So now let's go look at the back of the foot instead of the fronts. This is the caudal aspect of the right front foot. And it's kind of interesting from this angle. Again, the camera is a little bit off to the inside, so you don't get a really good look at the lateral side. But what I notice is the medial side is a bit taller than the lateral side. This side 
seems to be, it, it looks stronger. You can see that the heel wall at this side comes pretty straight down from the perio, but on this side it curls under. What's happening is the hoof wall at the heel is being pushed under and forward, and that makes it appear that this heel is longer than that heel, when in fact they're probably the same length. One is just curled under. Our I would bet on the front of this hoof, the hairline on this side, the medial side, looks taller than the hairline on the lateral side. And many people would want to cut off the medial side in order to even that up. But what's actually causing the difference in the height of the hair on each side is not a difference in length. It's a difference in how the foot is striking the ground. And once this curl is taken, it will cease to bend and it will actually come straight down and hit the ground like this. And the two sides will end up being pretty much at the same height. So remember that heels from this angle are deceptive. And uh, even though this heel looks short, we'll find out in the next video that the heels are actually quite long. They're just in the wrong place.